I got gas. Turn that on. Hey, Kevin. What are you getting ready for? Well, I've gotten several requests from you guys about uh, a torture test. Ooh. No, not that kind. Well, yeah, but later. <laughs> no, you guys want to know about more about that uh, AHP Alpha Mig. I've gotten several requests. Uh, hey, let's let's hit the duty cycle on it. You know, let's crank it up. Let's see what it'll do. Okie dokie, here it is. So what I've got here is a piece of, oh, I believe it's a piece of nasty old half-inch plate I got out of the scrap bucket, and I got it clamped to my bench. I've got the welder all set up. It's set up at 29 volts and about 600 inches of wire feed, which is just about maxed out. If I go a little, if I go to 30 volts, you know, the machine will go to 30 volts. It doesn't want to weld quite, quite right. It needs the 035 wire for that. So I've got 030 wire, 29 volts, maxed out on the wire feed. I've got a timer over here. I figure let's just fire the timer. I'll fire the gun and we'll just run until it quits and see what we get. So grab a cold one. We'll have some fun. Okay, let's see what we get here. Let me start the timer. Can you see what the timer says? What is it? a little bit of noise through the gun. Starting to feel the, the you see it spitting every now and again. I think the gun's starting to overheat. I know my finger sure is overheating. That's just me moving my finger. So that's a 70% duty cycle. Tell me nine minutes. Yeah, okay, let's just stop it right there. Woo! Eight minutes, 15 seconds, it was still trying to go. It was still trying to weld, but I could feel a little, a little hum, you know, like, like the gun was getting hot. You could see it smoking just a little. Um, like, it, like it was really trying to push, you know, the wire was starting to bind up in here. The machine is still going. You know, I don't have an over temp light. It was still running. That's still glowing red. So, for all you guys who were wondering, will this machine cut the mustard? Yeah, and cook the hot dogs at the same time. So, I'll let that cool off. I'll go find a stinger for it, and we can play with the stick welder side of it once it gets stone cold again. Now, we'll try that again on the stick welder side. But that'll be in the next video. So, you guys, come uh, sign up for my newsletter. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go get some water. It's hot in here. <laughs> I'll see you next time. So, infrared thermometer. 
right here by the clamp, just for giggles, uh, 882 degrees. If I come out here on top of the weld, the screen just goes blank. You know, it says max and a flashing light, so it's over 1,000 degrees, just for giggles. And you can see here where it warped that piece of half-inch plate. Pulled it right up off the bench, warped that whole plate. Yeah, that's a little warm.